Hey, hey, what is up guys? My name is True Underdog, here today with a guide on how to play Karen. This guide will cover her special moves, normal attacks, V trigger, V skill, and V reversal. So please sit back, relax, and let's break this character down step by step. To start this video off, let's discuss her normal attacks. Just like most characters, standing light punch and crouching light punch are great jabs, and great for escaping pressure, but not very good for combos. Standing medium punch does good damage, and is great for extending combos. Likewise, crouching medium punch is great for starting off combos, so most of your combos should look like this. Standing medium kick has great range, and is safe on block, so it's a great poke to throw out every now and then, just to check your distance. Likewise, the crouching version also has good range, and hits low. It's also good for certain combos. Standing heavy punch has decent range, and does good damage, but is not safe on block, so don't ever do it up close. Instead, do it in combos or when your opponent is dizzy. It also works well as an anti-air. Crouching Heavy Punch has great hit stun, making it great for V-Trigger combos. It can also cause a crush counter on hit, which launches the opponent for a short combo. Standing Heavy Kick has great range and does great damage, but is not safe on block, so make sure to always space it properly and do it at max range. If you ever do it up close, you may get punished with a full combo, and nobody wants that. It can also cause a crush counter on hit. If you're fast, then you can capitalize on it with V-Trigger. Likewise, the crouching version also has good range and hits low. Like all sweeps, it also causes a knockdown. Just make sure to space it properly, because it is also not safe on block. A crush counter will cause a hard knockdown. Next off, let's discuss her jumping attacks. Jumping Light Kick is a decent cross-up, but not the best. What it is good for is tech throws. Jumping Medium Kick is your go-to jumping attack. It's great for attacking from the front, and also great for cross-ups. Jumping Heavy Kick has great range, and does good damage. Next, let's discuss her command attacks, even though she only has one. Sumi Jigari has decent range, and hits overhead to punish crouching opponents. Just be careful how you use it, because it's not safe if they block it. Now let's discuss her special moves. Kanzuki Ryo is a fast forward dash that's great for continuing combos and applying pressure on blocking opponents. It also has two different follow-ups. Pressing Punch will launch the opponent for a short combo. Pressing Down and Punch is a great way to apply pressure and catch the opponent off guard. The light version travels a short distance. The medium version travels further. The heavy version travels the furthest. The EX version is fast and invincible on startup, allowing it to avoid certain attacks and go through projectiles as well. It also changes the properties of the follow-ups. Punch now does more damage and launches the opponent higher. While down plus punch causes a crumple on hit, allowing you to follow it up for a short combo. Yujin Kyaku is your main way to end most combos. The light version does the least damage, but is the easiest way to end combos most of the time. The medium version does more damage, and throws in a third hit which hits overhead. Just keep in mind that the opponent can interrupt it by jabbing or mashing out a dragon punch. The heavy version does the most damage, and is a great way to end shorter combos. The EX version does the most damage, and is a great way to end air combos. Keep in mind that no version is safe on block, so make sure to only use it for ending combos. Doing it raw is a very easy way to eat a full combo. Razenha hits overhead, and is a great way to end combos. However, it's also not safe on block, so make sure to only use it to end combos, or go over fireballs, because it can also do that. The light version travels a short distance, and is your main way to end combos up close. The medium version travels further, and is a great way to go over fireballs. The heavy version is nearly full screen, and does good damage. Every version of the attack has two different follow-ups. Pressing down plus kick afterwards will give you a low attack that causes a knockdown, while pressing up plus kick will give you an unblockable command throw. Just keep in mind that the opponent can duck under it, or just mash out a dragon punch. 
Karen Super has great range, does great damage, and can be comboed into from almost anywhere, making it one of my favorite supers in the game. Karen's V skill has decent range, does good damage, and knocks the opponent down. It's also safe on block, so feel free to use it during the neutral game. If held down, it does more damage and gets better range. It can also absorb fireballs if timed properly. Karen's V-Trigger is a little bit complicated. It gives her access to a new move called Gurren Ken, which has a bunch of follow-ups. The default version hits a couple times and does decent damage. Pressing Punch one more time does an extra hit and knocks the opponent down. Pressing Down and then Punch will switch sides on the opponent. It doesn't combo, but it can catch them off guard if they're not blocking properly. Pressing any kick will do a backdash to make it more safe, just in case the opponent blocks it. Pressing down and kick results in a low sweep. Pressing up and kick results in the command throw. Aside from the grab and the sweep, every follow-up can be comboed into super. The V-Trigger drains a bit slowly, but goes down drastically each time you use Gurren Ken, so be careful when you choose to use it, because it can do some devastating combos. I mean look at that, that's 50% damage and it wasn't even that hard to do, Karen you are crazy in V-Trigger. Karen's V-Reversal knocks the opponent into the air and causes a knockdown, making it great for interrupting block strings and jump ins. Alrighty dogs, now let's put it all together for some basic bread and butter combos. The button translations are in the video description below. Please request which characters you'd like to see next. If you enjoyed this guide or found it helpful, please leave a like down below. And while you're down there, go ahead and post a comment too. Tell me what you think. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more videos because we have content on this channel every single week. It is never a dull moment on Underdog Gaming, so make sure to come back next time and as always, stay underdogs.